Hi guys, welcome to Dylan's Assistance. Today, we will be taking a look at the second generation all time Google Nest Hub. It's the second generation. It's a new model that Google released like a few months ago, I think. I also have this lamp that we'll take a look at it a little bit later. It only you can only see its light from the in the dark though, so I'll have to turn off my lights. But now what we're focused on is the Google Nest Hub. There's my Echo Shell there. We might be talking some about that, but probably not a lot. Most of the video will probably be about the Nest Hub, and maybe some of it will be the, in the lamp too. Oh, now I see how it can. So my grand, my my, we call him my papa, but my dad's father. He gave me this, the lamp here, as well as another water gun that I have downstairs. You know, I really shouldn't be keeping a water gun in my room. <laughs> it, it has a light sensor. He told me that this could turn on automatic, turn off automatically when it's daytime. So I think that's how that does that. But also there's the switch for manual use. But now let's get on to talking about Google Nest Hub. So I really like my Echo Show. It's a really nice it's a really nice device to have around. My sister actually also has one. She doesn't have the Nest Hub, but the Echo Show, yeah, she has another one. So here are the perks of the Nest Hub that the show does not have. The show is really thick. It, it's like, it's very thick. I'll show you the top. That's how thick it is. Now let me show you how thin the Nest Hub the hub is that thin and then also the speakers here on the back as well as that's the volume slider and then that's the mute switch although I haven't messed with those but the mic's off see it's a mic off on the screen and up here we get a little light it's an orange light kind of like how you get four with the nest mini the mic's back on. And also the same result with the home mini, but we're going to be focusing on this video instead of the home mini, the nest mini, because I have that downstairs. And so the what I've really liked about, what I really like about the Google devices is they always have louder sound than the Echo devices. So the Nest Hub here is it's louder than the Echo Show. And the Nest Mini is much louder than the Echo Dot. They're just so quiet. The these the the my Echo Show is so quiet. My Echo Show and Dot are so quiet. But these are like boom loud sounds come out of the speakers. And what I like about the Nest Hub is it can achieve this thin design. It's about the same thickness of my iP an iPad, probably. It isn't the same screen size at 7 inches, but at least it's better than this. This is only at 5 inches, I think, in the screen, real estate. That's not much. And also, what I what I like about this one is sleep sensing. Now, I haven't tried the feature out for myself yet because I unboxed this just a few hours ago and I haven't gone to sleep yet. So, sleep sensing, really cool feature. I love it. It's a really cool feature again. But also then, if I swipe right on the display or just tap it, there's the photo frame here, which which shows pictures from my favorites. And also, if I swipe, I have my evening, so basically, and then I have wellness, which I only have one thing for that. And then home control. This is the part that I've been in the most. Home control lets me control everything from 
my nest tub. So I have lights, speakers and TVs, locks, routines, climate, rooms. I'm just gonna use one of my random routines for for the routines. So this this one is funny. I created this one myself. It's the hello one. It's very funny. Hello. I just pooped my pants, that's all. Yep, that's what it says. And so that's the hello routine. So that I really like the hello routine. The nest. This here, it does. It, it also has it. The hello, the hello routine. Uh, no, I no, I actually didn't set it up on this, but um, but I might. And so. So the uh, uh, so the media is is another one of the features. So this this is currently playing on my on on my Chromecast. Although the projector I have in it is off, not to receive any copyright strikes. So this is a Hugh Jeffries video called iPhone 12 Restoration. Almost impossible. Jeffries. So, and here's a few featured games on the side. We have the top stories. We have podcasts. We have communicate. We have reached the full family. Send a family broadcast to every phone and home device. And my household contacts. I added these to my Nest Tab. My mom and dad, these can only call their duo, but sadly none of them have duo. So... That's kind of a feature, and then I can make a phone call, call him in his room, broadcast, make a video call, and, and, and do a family broadcast. Now, when you make a video call, you'll need to be aware of this. You will see the person on the other end, as long as they're not using one of these other Nest Hubs, or a Nest Hub first gen, but they won't see you. Because the because this up here that is not a camera that is an ambient light sensor. It always changes back to that after a bit, and so so that's the only that's the only not thing about this is it can is you can see the person on the other end, but I but but they can't can't but the, I they can't see me so. Now here's family. Create a family note to do laundry at eight. Notes on all your smart displays. I don't have all of this is currently the only smart display I have. Keep your family's track with family bell. Send a family broadcast to every phone and home device. Make starting fun. Set a homework for timer for for twenty-five minutes. Set up a location. I mean, set up location sharing for where you at, where were you, and that's all I can see, and that's for grown ups. That's the animal of the day. Learn with family, which is satisfy your curiosity. Tell me a story. What does a camel sound like? Find a recipe for dinner, also for grown ups. And then discover. We can stay informed. Hey, Google, what are clear? Here's the. So, the. I'm not gonna say the wake word. What are coronavirus symptoms? Talk to my smart pet. So, like, if you have a smart pet, like maybe an Abo, an Ibo, which are really expensive, you might be, you might be able to do this and share my photos and Apple my shopping list. Can I change your voice? What's the weather like tomorrow? Find my phone. So I use this a lot on my Nest Hub. And I mean Nest Mini and it's a really nice feature and I and I can just tap on it here. What time is it? And on top of things, simplify tasks. I won't be using the what time is it one because I have my watch right here to tell me. Show me my shopping list, gas station nearby. 
show me my photos. Any nightclubs nearby? When's your bedtime? What is a factorial? What sound does a cow make? Define something. I don't know how to say that word. Find a, me a funny meme. And then that's all in this, in this device's menus here. So we're going to go to the photo frame. But I, I don't usually keep it on the photo frame, though. I usually just keep it on this. It says sleep sensing active. But, and, and it also has, and this is, and I talked about the ambient sensor earlier. That ambient sensor has ambient EQ, but, and I can just ask Google if I want to ever turn it off or on. Hey Google, turn off ambient sensing. To turn off Chromecast ambient mode, you'll need to factory reset your Chromecast. No, that's not what I want. Hey Google, turn off ambient mode. To turn off Chromecast ambient mode. That's not what I want. Um, he did it earlier for me, but I don't know why he's not doing it now. But if I just change the brightness, so if I swipe up, I get the quick settings. If I change the brightness, which it's not letting me do. I could do that, and then we also have, also have a whole bunch of items. Volume, which I said there was a volume slider on the back that you could also use. Though. We also have bedtime, do not disturb, alarms, I think that's feedback, that's feedback, and we also have settings. So that's really all for this, but now, but just now, oh, do we get to talk about this? Could be the moment you guys, you've been waiting for the light. So let me ask my Google to turn off the lights here. Hey Google, turn off all the lights. Okay. Sorry, it looks like the lamp is available. Now I bet you can barely see me. I'm a little bit red from the controls down below. And I just turned on this lamp. But look at this thing. Isn't that so cool? It, it shows like these little dots are meant to be the continents around. And, and those are the lights. And I can even spin it too. So, but it doesn't work in the daytime is the thing. Hey Google, turn on all the lights. Just turn them on. So, that's really all I have to say about the light. I have more to say about tech than I do, like, gifts like that. Because I'm better with tech, and I've been using tech for a super long time now. So, like, this one came from 2019. This came from my birthday 2021. So, my birthday party was hours ago. At two, we opened presents and got and, and did cake. I got a Hey Google cake. And but, but, uh, but the thing is my mom couldn't do exactly what she wanted because of some copyright laws. So they had to do a different thing. They, they, it's just written in black. I says, Hey Google, I'm not sure what she was what she was tr what she was gonna do before, but this is a really nice nest hub. I got that, like I said earlier, I got that from my dad's father, and this just came from my mom. And now we will be going to Great Wolf Lodge soon. I will not be going with them. I will not be going. I will not be taking this with me because it will have to factory reset. And it's kind of a hassle to get, like, the network things right and stuff. So this will not be coming with me. The only display that will be coming with me is the show here. Because that's the only thing that doesn't factory reset. And there will, no be, and there will not be a smart speaker coming either. Plus, I have a really fit, cool feature to set up on the show that can monitor your home so i will so we can use that to monitor the hotel room we can like drop right in but on the new but like on the, the 
but also there's like home there's a home cam feature that I set up so so we could use that too so so like when we're in the water park we can check over that so yeah this is the Google the Amazon they're really nice devices but they just but the Amazon I just don't really dig the Googles I love so yeah so that will be yeah I'm, I might make a video there I'll probably make a video there I was going to do one of Magic Quest which is one of the things I'm really hyped for I'm really hyped I'm really hyped for so I might do a video of that maybe like one day or something the hourglass yeah maybe I'll do like one rune maybe I'll do maybe I'll show you guys like how to get through the first rune or so no I already, no I'm actually already done with all the runes I'll show, I'll show you guys how to get through the dragon adventure and maybe the pixie one too Magic Quest is really fun. We'll probably start over once I finish all the adventures. And maybe we'll even get Compass Quest next time. So, yeah, that's basically the smart display and light and pretty much plans for my Great Wolf Vlog, for our Great Wolf Vlog trip. So, goodbye, everybody.